Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. So I bought my Legion 5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It was just a little bit cheaper. And I'm going to upgrade to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that's going to be two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM. Now a couple things to keep in mind when you're purchasing your RAM, it does need to be DDR4 and the size is going to be SODIMM or 260 pins. Now I will have links in the description to the RAM that I'm purchasing as well as recommended RAM for 16 gigabyte upgrades as well. So just check down there and you should be able to be all set with a RAM that is compatible with your Legion 5. Now upgrading the RAM on the Legion 5 is actually very easy. It only requires two different tools. So first you're gonna need some sort of thin plastic that you can use to pry open the case on the laptop. And then you're gonna need a small to medium size Phillips head screwdriver. So nothing really crazy. I found for the plastic, a guitar pick works, but if you don't have that, you might be able to use like an old credit card, something like that. So now that we have our tools and we have our RAM, all we need to do is flip over the Legion 5 and then what you wanna do is go through and unscrew all 11 screws. So there are four in the front, three in the center, and then four in the back. Now one thing I do before I take off the bottom case is just take all the screws out of the case and make sure that I have all of them accounted for just to prevent the screws from getting actually in the laptop and causing a short or breaking anything on the motherboard. Now there will be seven long screws and four short screws. Now that the screws are all removed from the Legion 5, you can start removing the back panel. And the easiest way to do that is to stick your little plastic piece here into the crease on the bottom where the panel connects to the body of the laptop. You just need to slide it along and you'll see it start prying up. And all you need to do is go around the entire body until it's all sticking up like this. Just make sure you're being gentle while you do this. You don't want to break anything. And once you've gone around the entire perimeter of the laptop, it may keep, take a couple times. Just keep working at it and be delicate. The cover will come off like so. And then when you're looking at the laptop here, the RAM will be right under this little metal protective area. Now before I do anything when I have a laptop open, I always disconnect the battery to prevent any shorts from happening. So all we need to do is pry back this little plug right here. So I'm just going to gently pry it back, nice and slow. And you just wanna be gentle so that the plug comes out like that. Now what we need to do is remove this little metal cover over the RAM. And you could do that with your pick or plastic piece by just shoving it right here in between the little clasp that are all around the metal shield. So as you can see, just kind of bending them back a little bit so that you can remove that. Once you get all of them kind of pried back away, you should be able to just lift up on the shield. Be gentle, and then it should come off. And then right here, you can see the two slots for RAM, and there's only one piece of RAM here that's gonna be eight gigabytes. So the first thing we need to do is simply remove that. You can do that very easily with these two teeth on the sides of the RAM. You simply pry it back very gently, and then the RAM should pop up, and then it can be removed. Now that we have both RAM slots clear of their RAM, we can go ahead and install our new RAM. When installing the RAM, it'll either go face up or face down. And you wanna look at this line right here to kind of match it up on the RAM. So as you can see on the top, it goes in upside down to match that. And then on the bottom, it goes in right side up where you can see the logo to match that little hole. To get this installed, the first thing we need to do is simply slide the RAM connector side first in at an angle. Make sure you get it in and then you can push it down and the little teeth that were on the side should snap in, and now we can add the other piece of RAM. This side goes in with the logo up, so just put it in, push it down, make sure it's in all the way, and then push it down until it snaps in on both sides, and we're good to go. Now the RAM is installed, and we can go ahead and put the shield back on. And push it all the way down. And then once you get the shield back on, go ahead and use your plastic piece to push the little clamps back into place so that the shield does not fall off. Then just reconnect the battery. And now with our RAM installed, the shield reinstalled, and the battery back connected, we can go ahead and put the back panel back on. 
So just get it in place and then you can just do a little bit of delicate pushing it down to get it to snap in. This is a very easy laptop to get the panel back installed on. Now we can go ahead and get our screws back in. Keep in mind the short screws go in the front right here. Another thing to keep in mind when you're tightening the screws, you don't have to put too much torque on it. Just get it a little bit firm because you don't want to break the body of the laptop by tightening it too much. Then when you get them all installed and nice and tight, you can go ahead and flip the laptop back over and turn it on. And then you're done. You have upgraded the RAM on your computer and you're ready to start using it. Now you shouldn't have to do anything inside the settings. The RAM should automatically work and you can start enjoying it. And then there you go, as you can see, 32 gigabytes of RAM installed on my Lenovo Legion 5. All right, so that's how you upgrade the RAM on the Lenovo Legion 5. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add Amazon affiliate links to the description so you can find the RAM that I recommend for your Legion 5. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.